Hi and welcome to another edition of Underwater. My name is Garen Avaloki Teshvara. This is video three of three of our unboxing and initial test of the Titan T1 Pro drone, capable of depths of 175 meters. It's a product made by Gene Inno. It comes out of Hong Kong and I must say up to now I'm very impressed. So before we get to the underwater test itself, which will be was actually filmed this morning when I filled the bathtub, <laughs> I do want to add a few things that I've since discovered through playing around. So with this unit here, the uh, 128 gigabyte storage is internal and uh, cannot be removed. The other thing that I suggest, so I, I wanted to bring that up right away, um, that's a little bit of a correction. Um, the tablet itself is actually a 64 gigabyte Mi 3 tablet. It does have a Chinese ROM, you can change that so it runs, uh, it's currently running Android 7. Um, but you can actually get a global ROM for it so you can still have Play Store and anything else on it you may need. Interestingly enough, you can use the built-in screen recorder, which I would suggest, so that you're actually recording the video should anything happen to the unit and you can't retrieve it right away, you still have a copy of the video resident on the tablet. You can download the video from the drone through remote wireless connection to the tablet or to another PC if it's hooked up and running in your house. So that's a very interesting feature. The other thing that I noticed when I did the wet test this morning is that, you know, these guys have thought of almost everything. So on the cable itself, in very small lettering, once every meter is the next meter. So it's uh, 001, 002. So you can actually look and see how many meters that you have the drone out from your spool length. Uh, quite quickly and accurately as a matter of fact. And that's a wonderful little feature that's included with this. So the other thing I do want to bring up is that before you put the unit in the water, especially before you put the unit in a lake or the ocean, if it's in the ocean, that's when you're going to use the additional buoyancy weights, which as I pointed out in the other video, fit in this buoyancy weight channel here and can be adjusted. It has little pop-up clips to help hold them in place. And you can see I'm actually still dripping out some water. I thought I had gotten all the water out of it, but apparently not. So one of the interesting uh, tools that I just happen to have laying around, which is quite helpful for this, is a blowgun. I don't recommend you use uh, a heated gun to dry the thing out. You really just want to push the water out of the unit. So th this is a, a, a charged uh, little unit that operates hands-free and we can just use it to, to, to carefully blow out. any of the left, uh, leftover water that happens to be in the drone. So as I was going to say, and I still have some other drips it turns out, so you, you do want to take time to dry this thing out very well. You can see it's going to need to be held at various angles and let to drip dry. I'm just going to grab a towel for a second. <laughs> Give me one moment. So there we go, we'll, we'll chuck this towel down here on the floor and just cover up all that water. So one of the things you're going to want to do with the unit prior to getting it into the water, definitely before you get it into the, um, the ocean or a lake, is to perform the compass calibration. Now this is done through the app and then you are asked to move the drone in all the different ways it can move underwater. And you're going to want to do this over something safe, so if you drop it or do it with two people, but you're literally going to be doing these sort of motions for about 40 seconds or so, and twisting it and turning it upside down and around in order for it to properly calibrate the compass. It will report to you after that time that the compass is properly calibrated and then you click OK. 
So that's a very uh, important part that we want to make sure we do prior to getting the thing in the water. So that's about the end of this part of it. We're going to switch now to uh, the actual test itself and some of the things you can use in the app to confirm that the drone is nice and watertight and that there's not any issues with leakage prior to going down to any depth. And again, an indicator that you can keep an eye on when the drone is at depth. So we're going to switch over now and you'll see me my face come back a little later. And here we have the Titan T1 Pro in the water. It's been sitting in the tub for about half an hour just to make sure that it's watertight. And you can see now I'm testing the thruster functionality backwards and frontwards. This is all in low mode, of course. You don't want to be using medium or high speed in a, con a confined space. Momentarily, you'll see the drone turn and then sink uh, briefly to the bottom of the tub. Uh, all the functions are working well. You can monitor the humidity within the unit through the additional info settings right on the app itself. And that'll give you an indication, make sure the thing is watertight. You'll also know if it develops a leak while it's underwater, you'll have time to get it back out. So I really do uh, recommend that you keep an eye on that on a regular basis when you have it out in the open water. So the drone's very responsive, very quiet, hardly makes any noise at all. It's going to be fantastic. And I just want everyone to know how much we appreciate your participation in these videos. We're really looking forward to taking you out on the lakes and getting a uh, some interesting shots both above and below the water. Please like and subscribe to our videos and make sure you turn your notifications on so that you'll be first to notify, be notified when we get some great footage. And of course, go ahead and share the video. Take care and have a wonderful day.